We've been so lucky over the last 11 years to travel all over Cabarrus County and the region. We met amazing people, visited incredible places, and we want to share those with you on what we call the Cabarrus Experience. We're here at the Carolinas Aviation Museum. It's definitely worth the visit, especially after, after it's had its recent renovation with expanded exhibits and many interactive features. The Carolinas Aviation Museum was first housed in the original Charlotte Airport hangar that was completed in 1937 by the Works Progress Administration, a program that served Charlotte during the Great Depression. The idea for a museum came in 1991 when the first hangar was scheduled for demolition to allow further expansion at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. The Carolinas Aviation Museum opened its doors in 1993. The museum is now housed in a new 40,000 square foot hangar near Billy Graham Parkway. The exhibits allow you to follow aviation from its beginning with the Wright Brothers' first flight here in North Carolina. The collection features aircraft, helicopters, equipment, gadgets, and printed materials covering years of aviation history and includes iconic military, civil, and commercial aircraft, as well as some very knowledgeable folks to help you along the exhibits. Interactive displays are also here to attract visitors of all ages, and they even have a little scavenger hunt for children who are interested in learning more about the displays. You can also climb into the pilot seat of an F-4 Phantom. After exploring the exhibit, stop by the Situation Wall to see a current air traffic over Charlotte. Then walk outside and listen to air traffic controllers clear air traffic for takeoff. There's a special exhibit that has significance to many here and around the world. It's the Miracle on the Hudson. The exhibit features the salvaged Airbus A320 and many of its contents that were recovered from U.S. Airways Flight 1549 that made a water landing on the Hudson River after losing power following takeoff from New York's LaGuardia Airport on January 15th of 2009. Sorry, stop you to park. He's got emergency returning. It's 1529. He, he uh, bird strike. He lost all engine. He lost the thrust in the engine. Too. Uh, it was a normal flight for me every week on the same flight. This is uh, Cactus 1539. Hit birds through lost thrust and felt it's returning back towards LaGuardia. There was this okay, tremendous yeah, explosion and the plane shook and we knew something was terribly wrong. We're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. When the plane hit the water, it was a really heavy impact to those of us who were sitting in the back of the plane. I hit many parts of my body on the seat in front of me, especially my head, and instantly the cold water was up, rising up above my ankles. The people behind me in the five or six seats behind me, the water was up to their knees and up to their waist in no time at all. You can tell we had a cactus airbus go down in the water. I took my seat cushion and got out into the aisle as quickly as I could. When I got up to the exit row windows, which were nine and ten rows ahead of me. Um, the wings were all filled with pe passengers already. You're going to need to um, alert the New York and New Jersey Port Authority police over there. So I could hear Captain Sullenberger and the flight attendants up front saying, come forward, come forward to the life raft. I looked out at the life raft that I needed to jump into and hesitated and one of the flight attendants said, it's okay, you have to jump. And I did jump and landed in about a foot of water in the bottom of the life raft. So I was wet all over, but some of the people in the life raft had already been out in the river. So they were way colder, way more covered in dirty Hudson River water that was just frigid. It was the coldest water I'd ever felt. You could see that there were already ferry boats moving towards the aircraft, even though they were coming from way over on the shore and we were in the middle of the river. It seemed like it didn't take them, you know, four or five minutes maybe to get to us. So it was, there was a sense, of, a renewed sense of hope that everything might be okay. And feeling like we had survived something that people shouldn't be able to survive. And then we started looking at how did this happen and we looked at the skills of Captain Sullenberger, Captain Skiles, and the three wonderful flight attendants and how they directed us to safety, helped us get to safety. And then we look at the ferry boat captains and how they were 
immediately responsive. This isn't even their job as a rule, but they were there to rescue us within minutes after the plane was in the river. We were given the gift of a second chance. We were given the gift of time, and time is a commodity that we can never get back once it's gone, but also it's a commodity that can be snatched away from us at any time. And I hope that people will look at every day as the miracle that it is, a chance to have one more day to make a difference, one more day to do something for someone else, to do something good, one more day to create uh, a memory, one more day to do something that means something to the world. Carolina's Aviation Museum is located at 4672 First Flight Drive in Charlotte. Admission costs $12 for adults, $10 for senior adults, $8 for students, and is free for children five and younger. Hours are 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. weekdays, 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturdays, and 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. Sundays. For details, call 704-997-3770 or visit carolinasaviation.org.